Right, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Click Reviews and welcome back to this week's video. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while and this is actually um, a tour around my 2018 Stage 2 Plus Honda Civic FC. This is the 1.5 turbo version with uh, CVT transmission. So I'll be covering three things. First, uh, the exterior. Then probably some interior parts because I didn't really focus on the interior anyway. So some interior parts and then the performance side which is where I spend the majority of my money. All right guys, so let's begin this video. All right guys, so unfortunately we had to change location because it is the Muslim prayer time. All right, let's take a look at the exterior side of things. So you can see this beautiful matte black wrap. Of course, it's not perfect anymore. Uh, this is, uh, should say, a three year old wrap. I wrapped this back in March of 2019. So it's definitely not scratch free, but it looks pretty good for a Taiwan made film. Uh, I bet it's faded pretty much on the hood area and on the roof. But the overall has been pretty easy to maintain. Uh, there are some scratches from the cats that live around my area. And there are also some water stains, something like what you see here. So this is, I would say, unavoidable. Uh, it will wear off in time because this is a wrap and wraps are basically um, temporary solution uh, in terms of styling wise uh, but overall very nice you can see condition is still pretty good uh, I'm not going to complain about this this wrap costs around the uh, ballpark of 2005 to 2600 ringgit of course I did do some accents on the grill and on the pillars and stuff like that but overall you can see Pretty nice, of course I did do my own uh, coating on this wrap so it will repel the water, something like a nano coating. And I do keep on applying the coating every other time I wash my car. So yes, it's down to your own uh, effort to maintain the film. So uh, I did do some accents right here, some yellow accents on the daylight running lamp and also my fog lamp on both sides. So to give it a unique look uh, in the night as well Because night basically if you're using a matte black wrap You can't really see the difference because it's night time and it's black wrap So I did do this accent so when the lights are on You can see some yellow accents at night So that is a personal preference but for me I like to do some accents And I did get my Honda logo wrapped as well You can see right here in this uh, supposedly chrome gold It looks more like yellow to me and it has worn pretty well, you can see uh, not faded at all but here's has cracked because of the crazy heat in Malaysia but overall very nice uh, this is uh, Oracle if I'm not mistaken the one that wrapped, uh, I re-wrapped the grill in fact it, this was matte black and then when I had uh, my matte black wrap I switched this out to gloss black to get, give it some uh, contrast so that's about it for the exterior side for the front at least on the side, the mirrors, yeah, you can see this bird poop right here, unavoidable. Yeah, I park in the shade and still gets bird poop anyway. So this is wrapped with a regular 6D carbon fiber and it's held up pretty well. Of course, when it does get wet in the rain, it will show some uh, stains on the inside, but it dries off quickly. So not a big deal. I did do um, carbon fiber door handle covers. This was actually chrome because it's the TCP version and carbon fiber door covers i regret doing this to be honest if i were you and you're thinking of doing this do not do it if you're ever going to do it get a matte black version or a gloss black version and get it wrapped it would be able to stand the heat much better look at mine mine is uh pretty worn out because of the heat and i tried to like restore it back but it still got worn out anyways but apparently this side looks good just the door handle side depends on where the sun is shining from the back as well you can see the condition is pretty bad but overall okay but uh, i can't remove it now because if i do remove it i tried removing it and it was tearing out the wrap underneath so bad choice bad decision but uh, i learned from mistakes right all right on the back here i have this uh, carbon fiber louvers i should say uh, this has held up pretty well these are the higher grade uh, water transfer carbon fiber so this has held up pretty well. Of course, I've de-chromed my car. So you can see this has a, it actually has a chrome strip right here. But now I've removed it and also did a rear spoiler which came in gloss black. But I wrapped it in the same uh, 6D carbon fiber as the mirrors. Okay, so what else? Um, 
Yes, this is something I did it uh, on just for fun. I got this wrapped in uh, gloss black uh, when I got my car wrapped, so you can see it's pretty worn out as well. This is gloss black to give it the kind of look rather than the whole light just being red. I think it looks pretty ugly in my opinion. So I wanted to highlight the claw accent, the crap accent, I should say, uh, right here. So it gives it some difference. And also, I tinted this uh, signal and reverse light in uh, black. But of course, when you tint this, the original bulbs become darker. So what I did was I upgraded my tail lamps fully LED. These are the original tail lamps. I just upgraded the bulb. So it's still very, very bright at night. And uh, it's not going to uh, harm other drivers or cause other drivers not to be able to see me. So I've upgraded everything to super bright LEDs. And I spent a good sum of money there upgrading both sides. All right, so uh, coming to the back, um, I have this MCX ducktail spoiler, which I installed. I did a video on my installation a couple of videos back. I will leave that in the iCard if you're interested. It has been good so far, um, no issues. I didn't wrap it. This came in a pearlescent black to match the audio body color, something like that. But uh, I just had to leave it as uh, gloss black. So at least give it some contrast. Back Honda logo wrapped in uh, same as the front actually, uh, gold chrome. But this has actually faded from a yellow to more of a golden color. So I think that's a good thing. Looks pretty good. In fact, it looks better than the front one. I like this tone of gold rather than the front yellowish tone. Okay, other than that, usual wraps. Same thing with the, the tail lamp. Okay, on the sides, I've actually went wider. So these are the custom uh, ex fender extensions, which I also reviewed and also did installation on. They have held up pretty well. The cutting is not as good, I should say, uh, but it, it, uh, it seems to stay on, so I'll just leave it there for the moment until I rewrap my car. So I think it gives a pretty nice look to the car overall. From the side view, you can see it's so much wider. Of course, it's harder to drive, especially uh, when uh, parking, but um, I've had any issues with uh, any issues with this. So um, for rims wise, uh, Using 17 inch rims, uh, 2550 17 spec tires. So these are Continental tires MC6. You can see right there. I have not rolled my fender, so they do tend to scrap the fender right here. But I'm not sure whether I should like fold them at the moment. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I have spacers on them. I have not mistaken 30 mm or 35 mm. These are pretty big spacers on the rear. And uh, on the front, they are 25. It's a 5mm difference. I can't remember my spacer spec. Brakes are stock. Rims I'm running on Avanti Storm S1 or Aria. I can't remember. But these are flow forming rims and uh, it's 8J. So they are still light. But uh, I would recommend uh, not doing the same mistake that I did and selling off my original rims because you know the Civic has the um, steering rack issue so if you do not have your original rims you can't actually claim the warranty you have to buy back a set of original rims very very troublesome but uh, don't make the same mistake that i did keep your original set of rims maybe in the storeroom or something or maybe just uh, rent the space at the tire shop or something or if you have a french shop you can just put it there just put it there do not sell them away do not do what i did these rims uh, they look uh, pretty good uh not the best looking rims but they do the job and they are very reliable, very solid because they are flow forming. On the front, you can see my fender extensions, not the nicest at the front, but uh, they do give the car a very nice look from the side view. So much wider and I do like wider cars. So that's based on personal preference. All right, so that's basically all from the front. Let's move on to the interior and I'll show you what I actually did. All right guys, so now we're in the interior of my car. You can see it is pretty much bone stock. Pretty much bone stock, but of course a bit messy at the back. I did do some minor things. I wrapped this in carbon fiber. I got door panel trimmings in carbon fiber. Let me lower the aircon for a moment. That's what I don't like about the Civic 2018. You have to do everything on screen. Uh, but anyway, this way it is. No problems right there, but uh, just a little bit more fiddly. So, door trimmings, carbon fiber right here, and 
on four doors in fact all are covered with the carbon fiber all right so you can see i have a luffy gauge so this is the chinese version which i do not know and do not understand so i have already preset everything so it is what it is i have i suggest you to get the english version pay a little bit more and get the english version so much easier unless you understand mandarin but i don't so yeah my loss anyway um you can see pretty much stock um what else i do have a dash cam right there hidden up here very nicely done the wiring is very nicely done uh dash cam is something that i do recommend everyone install on their car okay another thing is i've added these pedal shifters these aluminum ones i do not recommend these aluminum ones yes it looks good and it matches with the ring right here on my push start button but in my opinion if you park your car in the sun a lot this turns to be super hot and i burn my hands uh fingers at least a couple of times with this so i suggest you to get like the nice um plastic ones something like the ones i use on my zero those are the plastic ones with the carbon fiber outlook those won't get that hot so yeah that's the reason why the original ones are plastic and i installed this but anyway it's a lesson learned uh that's another thing which i do want to state that if you park your car in the hot sun a lot do not get the metal ones but if you park in the shade all the time this is not going to really make a big difference um other than that i got this steering wrapped by will uh when will first started so thanks sebastian for taking the time to actually hand stitch this carbon fiber steering so this is the carbon fiber steering cover in fact with a custom uh, red pin strap in the center so yes and i did get some stickers to actually wrap my control buttons right here so that's about it i did for the interior nothing really much because i feel exterior is the one where i feel like I, those are facing the elements that's the reason why i got the wrap also and other things to protect the car from stone chips but interior just the basics will do as long as the car is comfortable okay let's go to the performance side of things so let me open the hood and we will take a look okay yeah, so another thing i want to add is when i got the car i actually installed the auto closing mirror module so that means when the car locks it will actually auto fold the mirrors let me just give you an example right here so i'm going to lock my car with the key because my hood is open uh, so they do not allow me to lock the car let me show you as you can see right here it also can be programmed to actually open fold open when the car is unlocked but i didn't do that just in case i park too close to a pillar or something all right let's take a look at the engine bay itself so this car has a full exhaust system as well which i will show you all right so you can see my engine bay i like a clean engine bay as i mentioned before so my silico bay is also very clean my silico engine bay so i keep my engine bays super neat and tidy all right let's start with the most obvious stuff so i have ultra racing uh front strut bar and rear anti-roll bar as well i have a rear anti-roll bar so the intake pipe i wrapped in this gold foil which is supposed to prevent heat from entering so not sure whether it works but uh yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. I like to keep my intake temperatures as low as possible. So you can see this stops right here. I actually had an engine cover, but I heard that engine covers are not good because it keeps the heat in and might damage the connectors and stuff like that. So I removed it, but I did not remove the stops. So yeah, that's my bad on my part. Okay, another thing, I have a Mishimoto intake or what started off as a Mishimoto intake. So I bought this within the first thousand kilometers I got my car because I wanted to send this for a tune. This started off as a closed up uh, intake box, but uh, I realized that the closed intake box actually keeps the heat in when it gets hot. And I wanted more sound from the intake, so I decided to make my own. So right here, I actually remove the lid and I cut out this uh, pieces to actually block out the heat so the heat stays out so these are the same spec as the box so the height is the same you can take a look from the side so this is uh, my own side it's like a DIY project which I did and I used back the same screws that came with the box so just basically without the lid but also blocking out the heat at the same time it seems to work all right so you can see this is tuned by Pentagon because this is actually a stage 2 plus car so there are a few stages stage one is basically just a software tune with uh, no uh, modification hardware then we come to the stage two where you actually need a intake and a downpipe or just a downpipe depends on the tuner but uh, they recommend a downpipe definitely so when i got my stage two tune i already had my intake and my downpipe 
but I didn't have a full exhaust system so that was the first time I actually tuned my car. Then last year during the start of uh, COVID, I actually bought a PRL intercooler. So PRL intercooler and charge pipe combo. And I did a full 2.5 inch exhaust system from uh, Ampang Technique. So Ampang Technique is it's a very good exhaust shop. Normally I do my exhaust at Everco, but uh, I went to Ampang Technique to do because they are very experienced in modifying Civics. At least they have a ready uh, exhaust pipe. So it's 2.5 inch front to rear. So I have a Remus center resonator. So it cuts down on the high pitch and the drone on in, inside the car. So I have a Remus uh, mid muffler, I should say. So I have a PRL intercooler underneath right here with the charge pipe combo so it's a much bigger intercooler definitely than the stock ones but i've been using this PLL uh, intercooler for a while and it's been really good you can see this is the charge pipe both sides turbo is stock coils are stock and i do my cvt maintenance every or cvt oil change every 15,000 kilometers i do it earlier because the CVT oil that we're using is the local Malaysia version of CVT oil and I, I believe it's not such a good oil as the Japan version so I change mine very often and my engine servicing I do it every 6000 and the car hasn't given me a single issue since the day I bought it even I'm on stage 2 plus and this is my daily driver it has never given me a single issue touch wood uh, this car has been really really good so yeah some people have actually experienced a lot of issues but mine has been flawless so the downpipe right here was done at Everco so I went to Everco to do my downpipe because I like the workmanship and I got a very good deal also on the downpipe got a downpipe, got a front pipe from a friend and the mid and the rear pipe I got it from Kampang Technique so that's basically what I did for a stage 2 tune and then I retuned it after that and this now makes 200 and 25 wheel horsepower and 320 to 330 newton meters of torque so yes you definitely get a very big power loss with cvt because it's yeah it's a cvt i wish it came with a five speed manual or even a normal or dsg but apparently not so the engine makes a lot of horsepower and torque but a lot of the power is actually lost from the cvt gearbox so no CVT, I do not like CVT, but it is what it is with this car. That's about it for the performance side of things. Let me give you a look at my exhaust system from the back. So this is the custom made one. I did have to cut out my bumper a bit. You can see right here. Welding is pretty good with Ampang Technique. That's the reason I went with them. So let me give you some exhaust tones as well as some uh, pulls with this car to give you an idea on how this setup sounds like all right so this has been a very quick review and walk around of my civic fc so i've been wanting to do this video for a long time and i never actually had the time to do it i was focusing on my sirocco but now the sirocco is actually in the workshop for a clutch change as well as a flywheel so and i redid my headliner as well because I have comments saying that I should do my headliner but anyway I did a brand new headliner for Volkswagen which cost me a bomb but is this what it is? it's worth it because I do not want to like rewrap my headliner I decided to go with a brand new one alright so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the pulls that I'm going to do right now and anything just drop it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you did like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one